Hi there, I'm Daryl Williams from Python Bytes and in this tutorial, this is the second tutorial, after installing Bottle and testing that it works with uh, the command prompt, uh, we're now going to do an application called Todo. There is a tutorial on the Bottle Pi website called Todo, but this is my version of Todo. So it uses a SQLite 3 database, so it's database driven. When I make applications, uh, if it's WX Python widgets, I build database applications. So, and I was thinking it'd be handy if instead of using uh, WX Python widgets, that I use HTML and CSS to create uh, widgets. So, basically, it's a website. But the concept of um, using a web Python web framework is totally different to PHP, which has confused me. I tried Django, thinking that's the one to use, but that's so complex, I just couldn't get my head around it. The next step down was Flask, and then there were areas that I didn't understand, and then I tried Cherry Pie. And I found that one confusing. The tutorials just didn't really explain uh, the concept. Then I got onto Bottle Pie, and I have to tell you, it made sense to me. Just the way it's designed, the routing, and so forth, I picked it up. I understood it. And then, because I understand Bottle, it's helped me to understand the concept in Flask. Flask, that'll be a different tutorial, but in this example, we'll be using Bottle Pi. It's a very, very simple web framework. They call it a micro web framework, but it is a lot easier to learn the, uh, the concept of Python web frameworks. Okay, so to get started, I'm on the Bottle Pi website, and this is the URL bottlepie.org. We did this in tutorial one. We copy this code. Copy that. Okay, and in this folder, I've, I've created a teach bottle. So this, uh, and I've created a to do, or it's teach bottle actually. Yeah, and a to do folder for a to do application. And I've created a blank svr.py file zero kilobytes it's a blank file so I right click that and open a notepad plus plus this is what I use when I'm creating uh, like websites HTML CSS and in this case a web framework normally I, I would use idle Python idle uh, when writing out scripts and testing Python scripts uh, functions and so forth to make sure they work but in this case, because we use a command line to run, run the server, I use Notepad++. So yeah, once again, I right click on the svr.py file, edit in Notepad++, I paste the code in there, and then save it. Now, some changes. This is what we had in the last tutorial, so we'll remove hello and the name, remove name because we don't have any variables in this uh, this uh, route and the route is the actual address added on be it the IP address or if it's a local host which it is down here we're using port 8080 so here I will change this here and go output equals and I'll delete that there and I'll go it works usually get that on Apache or the old Apache uh, it's already got one on the end after the bold remove the variable and the round bracket and then I go return output
and I do control S to save right now the next step is you want to get the command prompt up I use command prompt a lot and it's in this listing of programs that I want to use so if that doesn't show you go C Charlie M for Mike D for Delta command up the top we have the command click that it opens up then I go to the to do folder I right click up the top address bar copy address as text then I go CD in the command prompt that means change directory and I paste the path to the to do folder and there we go there now I go Python remember the environment variables that we set up on Windows so by now when I type Python the command prompt will recognize that uh, this uh, using Python means we want to get Python to run a file and that file is svr.py so I press enter and it says the bottle server starting up using this particular server listening on the local host and the port 8080 hit control C to quit okay so we open a new page a new tab and we go local local host I've already got it there so I'll click that it works so our our little application or server is working so that's it as it states here it works so this is the start of the to-do application that we're building okay I hope that tutorial was helpful if you have any comments or questions please leave them below this video on YouTube and I'll get to you as soon as possible and I hope you found this tutorial helpful it'll be getting very interesting and I'll try and explain it in simple terms because as I said I found it easy to understand the Python web framework methodology just by using bottle Pi. okay I'm Daryl Williams from Python Bytes till the next tutorial goodbye